we have made it into Lao, country number 23. Pretty easy uh, border crossing experience. It's about $40 for the visa on arrival. We paid in baht, so it was 1,500 baht. We expected it to be kind of hectic, but they were very nice. Some of the, the easiest to deal with border guards I've ever experienced. Today is our first real day of cycling in Laos. We crossed the Friendship Bridge from Thailand yesterday and then got a hotel pretty early in Hue Zai, I don't really know how to say that, uh, to kind of figure out our route and uh, try to come up with a plan for Lao. We're headed to Luang Namtha, uh, and then we're gonna head down to Luang Prabang. Last night we went to a restaurant that turned out to be a bit more of a bar than a restaurant and uh, an immigration officer from the Friendship Bridge. We didn't see him, but he, he works there. Uh, ended up buying us a lot of beer and, and hanging out and talking to us for a long time. Uh, very friendly uh, welcome into Lao. So first impressions are really good. I just got very violently high-fived by a huge horde of children. <laughs> Caused a minor traffic situation. Getting towards the end of our first day of riding in Lao. These hills are just insane. So much steeper and uh, more relentless than Thailand. It's only been like 3,600 feet of gain over like 35 miles today. The little villages we've been passing through are a huge contrast to the types of places we were seeing in Thailand. Um, just people living much more traditionally than what we've seen up to this point in Southeast Asia. But the people are super friendly, especially the kids. Just coming out and waving at us and yelling hi and bye bye and at one point I'm sorry for some reason. <laughs> Just trying out all the different English phrases. But yeah, it's been a fun day. Well, we survived our first day in Lao. This is our hotel. We weren't sure if we were gonna find anything, but happened across this, it was about six bucks. Not a bad spot, got a bed, got a shower-ish thing. And the, the uh, lady who works here went and got us some um, dinner from someone down the street. So Jenny's eating right now. I don't know what it is, but Seems good. It's good, yeah.
we've been climbing pretty much all day it feels like we started out rode a couple flat miles and then just straight up a hill now we're riding kind of like the spine uh ridge line of a mountain chain there's jenny and uh we're going through all these little villages that are right perched on top of the ridge line it's pretty interesting so Of these little towns i get low level stress when shopping because for example we just went to a, a little shop to get some water and literally next door is a shop selling identical stuff and so you have to kind of like make the decision okay do i shop at this lady's shop or this other lady's shop and you know they're like neighbors and they live right next to each other and you know it's just i'm gonna choose to spend my money at one of them and I just always feel like a little bad for not shopping at the other one. Sometimes, in fact, I will go to both and buy a little bit of what I need at both places. Sections of this highway are just terrible. And it's a main uh, trucking route. So the trucks kick up a ton of dust. It really hurts the lungs. We are headed out of Luang Namtha. Uh, it's pretty overcast and it's actually like almost chilly. It's the first time while riding in Southeast Asia that it hasn't been like actively hot enough to sweat. It's very pleasant. There's fog in the mountains too. It's pretty cool for the dry season. We forgot to stock up on sunscreen in Thailand and uh, we haven't been able to find it yet in Laos. We've gone to a bunch of pharmacies and no one has it. So hopefully we'll find it soon. <laughs> We're running out. Also, everything in Laos is covered with a fine layer of dust. The paved roads are dustier than some gravel roads I've been on. My lungs are dying. So we just got to the main highway that goes between um, China and Vientiane, the capital of Laos. And we're gonna be on this for a little bit to get to Luang Prabang. Uh, doesn't look like the traffic's gonna be too bad, judging by what it's like right here, but uh, yeah, it's not normally our go-to plan, but all the side roads are way too steep. <laughs>
after a long dusty day of riding, we made it to a hotel. There's a lot of karaoke going on in this town. It's about six bucks, not a bad deal. Got an old CRT TV, a bed, and uh, hopefully a shower. I actually haven't even looked at the bathroom yet. We'll all see it together. Oh, it's a toilet. <laughs> We're starting the day out with a big climb towards Muang Zai. Oh no, there's a short long dog in the street. Hey buddy. <laughs> he was so short, but so long. Somebody. Uh, luckily there's not too much traffic on the road and uh, pretty good, pretty good grades. So we're not dying. Um, it's about 1,800 feet of climbing right off the bat to start the day. Weather's not too bad though. It's sunny, but it's not too hot. We're very close to China and we've seen a lot of cars with uh, Chinese license plates. And one just stopped and flagged us down and gave us a bunch of food. It's really nice of him. We had a fun conversation, even though we didn't speak each other's languages. And Google Translate's not working because we don't have service. Headed out of Wang Zai, supposedly have uh, 6,800 feet of climbing over the next 32 miles. Getting up to about 4,600 feet in elevation. It's gonna be the highest we've been since uh, Norway. Gonna try and stay at a guest house way up high, so it'll be nice and chilly up there, probably. These kids are beating me in a race up a hill. <laughs> They're strong. They live up in these hills. They're on single speeds too. There was a really good bakery in the town we stayed in last night, so we got these things with eggs and such. A good snack.
finishing up a long day of climbing. Well, hopefully finishing up, assuming this guest house is open. This morning we got to enjoy the benefits of the all-day climb yesterday, 18 miles of descent. We dropped about 3,000 feet, very swoopy, flowy, uh, hardly had to use the brakes, well-designed highway, not too much traffic, really fun uh, start to the day. Now we're down at a lower elevation, there's a lot of people planting rice and weaving baskets and uh, using some kind of loom thing. Bye bye. any food for him. I'm sorry buddy. He was barking at me earlier. No. Down. We stopped for a snack and a giant praying mantis took up residency on the top of my paneer. I gotta flick him off. Sorry, buddy. Good luck. We get really excited when we find bakeries. Because that also means that they have banh mi's, which we really love, even though we're not in Vietnam yet. <laughs> They're pretty delicious.